Call her how it is. Hit it. Promise you swear, I swear. Yeah. Spit it. Yo. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Rep the set. Got a rep the set. Chase a chick. Never chase a bitch. Hi guys and welcome to another makeup tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how I created this eyeliner look that you can literally pair with any kind of lipstick that you want. I choose a bright red just because I'm wearing a red sweater so yeah but that's it. If you want to see how I created this makeup look then please keep on watching. Mwah! Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use this Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. I use this as a primer, but it's really, really good. Once you'll try it, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it leaves your skin really, really soft. The foundation really glides on, so it's one of my favorite primers out there. And it's not even a primer, you know, originally, but it's one of the best. You can like smell the man smell for a little while, but it just goes away right after you put on your first layer of foundation. So I wouldn't be worried about that. It really makes up for the scent because it's amazing. You need to try it and it's also pretty affordable. You get a lot more than in a normal primer. So next we're going to go on foundation. For foundation, I'm going to use this one. It's by NARS and it's the Sheer Glow Foundation. This one is also really good for dry skin and it makes your skin look like a million bucks just because it's so hydrating and again for the winter I love hydrating foundations. Next, we use a wet, damp beauty blender and we blend it all up. It's really important to just use very light motions and tapping. Don't like slide, tap, always tap. This makes a really, really huge difference. Okay. So next we're going to use a concealer. For concealer I'm also going to use this one from NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer as everybody loves it. If you're a bit into makeup I'm sure you know it. It's a really really high coverage concealer and it really is like this creamy beautiful thing. And you also need to put them under your eye. When putting on concealer, always put it in like this triangle shape under your eyes so it makes your bangs disappear basically. And if you're going to use this concealer, it will definitely not be showing no matter how tired you are. On the lips, my chin and the sides of my lips. Okay, and now again, blend. Do you see how well it blends out? I mean, it's so creamy and really, really high coverage. It covers everything that you want. And we blended it out. Next, I'm going to use a setting powder. I'm going to use this one from Nude Illusion Loose Powder. It's from Catrice and it's transparent, it's matte and I love it. So you just kind of tap it on, put the excess always off and just mattify your face. This will kind of look like baking. That's when you put a lot of this under your eyes. But because this concealer is like really creamy, I kind of like to use it with a baking powder. And after you put it on, you just go one more time through your face and brush it off very, very gently. Also, if you have oily skin, I really advise you doing this for like an everyday. It's because your face will stay nice and matte through the whole day. Just like this. 
Next, we're going to bronzing powder. I'm going to use this one. It's from Max Factor and it's a bronzing powder. Nothing else, just simple bronzy. Again, we just contour our cheekbones, foreheads, chins, and under our nose. First, I kind of made this harsh line and then I just go and blend it upwards with circular motions. our forehead tap, 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 tap. especially if i have a ponytail or in this case a braid with a ponytail i really like to just contour my upper part of my forehead so it looks nice and bronzy it. <laughs> Then, and you just blend the whole upper part of your forehead and just blend, 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 blend. This also makes your forehead look smaller. Like this and also underneath your chin. If I'm wearing a ponytail, this is a must because it makes your face look a lot more chiseled than it actually is, so... Just don't forget, after you put it on, to blend it really well. I put it on and then I use like a more dense brush and just brush it out. Okay, next we're going to our brows. So for my brows today, I'm going to use this. It's a eyebrow set from Catrice and my mermaid brush, which I love. And I also have it for the highlighters, but it's so amazing. I got it off the Chila Pica C and it's awesome. That's like a Slovenian side to buy makeup if you're not from here. Okay, so now we're going to do the brows. First, I'm going to use the lighter shade from the set and just start at the front. And then the darker shade for the end of the brow. did it i just kind of brushed through the brows so it gets this natural look and it doesn't look like it's really filled in a lot just like that and again the brow gel for the nice shape of the brow so it stays on place through the whole day just like that and the brow is done. Okay, so now that we've done the brows and we look like Freddie Miller. No, I'm kidding. Don't, don't listen to me. We're going to do the eyes. Uh, for the eyes, like I said, I'm going to do a bit of shading just to like emphasize our crease. And then a eyeliner. What's important with these eyes is that you can actually pair it with any kind of lipstick. I'm feeling like red today. So red and sexy it's gonna be like the glam power. Yeah, let's go and do the eyes okay so now we're going on the eyes first i'm going to use this pro eye primer it's from the freedom cosmetics it's just to keep our eyeshadow on place and on hold for the whole day now first i'm going to start with a very similar shade to my eyelid and just put it all over just like this next we're going to go with a bit darker shade and emphasize our crease and 
adding a bit of a lighter shade in the middle and just kind of blend it all together so it looks On the upper part of my brow, I'm also going to use a highlighter, which I'm going to put on now to highlight my brow bone and to really make it pop. This makes a very, very big difference with opening your eye up. Just like that and also in the inner corners of the eye now we're going to go on with the eyeliner here i'm going to take you through all of the steps how to get the perfect eyeliner first you just start with one line going from your outside corner to your end of the brow like this and then you go from here and just pull one line inside of the eye And then you color it in. See? A perfect wing. And then you just pull it to the inner part of your eye. There we go, the perfect eyeliner. Okay, so now that we did our eyes and the eyeliners, we're going to go to the mascaras. Let's do it. Okay, so first I'm going to use this one. It's a primer. It's the Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer from Dior. Okay, so next we're going to go with the Dior Show Iconic Extreme Mascara on top of the primer. Okay, so now that we're done with mascara, we're off to the lips. But first, before the lips, I'm going to put on this white pencil in my waterline. I'm not gonna film it just because you only put a white pencil in your waterline. I think everybody knows how to do that. So I'm sure you got it, girl. White pencil and then the lips. So now for the red lip, I'm not going to use a lip liner just because this lipstick from Golden Rose Liquid Matte Lipstick, it's enough on its own, so I don't need it. Okay, so we're done with the lips and of course no makeup look is finished without a good highlighter. So next up, highlighter! I'm going to use this one, it's from Catrice. It's the light infusion um, shade and my mermaid brushy and just kind of lay it girl, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There we go. The last step is the MAC Fix Plus just to fix your whole makeup look so it stays on all day no matter what weather. Let's spray it. Bam! Now I look wet, but it's fine. You just let your face dry and your makeup look is ready to go.